Here we go. Last one, you ready? I'm ready. Let's go, bub. Like a gun, smell a gun powder in the morning, isn't it? You believe we just doubled right here? That's all I got to say, man. I folded that strutter like a week's wash right there. <laughs> Is that not one of the most, most, most epic things you've ever seen? It was me, baby. It was me. It was a minute. It was a Oh, we slipped back down to Yuba. I seen an AF cub yesterday evening, and uh, those three birds were out again, and they roosted in the almost exact spot they did yesterday morning. Me and him and Tyler cub, and they pitched into the field about 100 yards from us or something. They worked their way on the opposite end of the field, and that's where we're going to go. And, Set up this morning. We kind of looked there before for setups. There's some old big logs over there that we can sit tuck in behind or a little cedar tree that's got all kinds of cover around it. We thought about both of them. We're going to go over here and check it out and see. Oh, I hope it's been a grind so far for me. AF's had a lot of action. I've had I've been on a lot of good hunts. I've chased them pretty hard and I've mean, been on the birds every morning, but oh. we'll be on him this morning. Yeah, he'll be there. Hopefully, if they do the same thing it did yesterday morning, we'll be taking pictures here shortly, I hope. And everything goes to plan. But it's good to know that they're in there. They just script wrote. I just wonder how I hope he reads it. Feed you both. Oh, Lord. Well, we're ready to start getting ready and head over. I know that. Uh, we don't have a real far walk and we got to be real quiet across that creek and stuff that's right there above us so we're gonna slip in tuck in look at the spot see which one's best and we'll probably catch you at daylight
stop power for something. Yeah, I think we got it. Oh, that boy. That <laughs> you burn so much. Oh, God, boy. That right there. That's my and his first double ever to get it off the ground. <laughs> oh, my God. Thank you, Lord. We've been watching these birds from the end of, like, middle of March. They've been coming this field. They come on in. That one got just a little bit leery and I, it scared me to death. You better have him. Alright, he's alright. I must have stone cold that one. Let's go down here and check him out. And that right one had that head up, so I just put it right down on that neck. Boom, but I can't let her go. What do you think? What do you think about that light trigger? I didn't even pay attention to it really. I was just tore up. I'm still shaking like it. Crazy. Look at that morning sunrise, honey. You talking about beautiful. It don't get no prettier than that. We got two golfers by gosh to look at. Oh, man. Let's look at them, you too? Yeah, let's go look. Let's look at them. We'll come up here and take pictures of them. Bring them up here on these tables. I'm not funny. You, you shot the stud. You reckon? I think so. That head is bloody as can be. Oh, son. Good beard. Very good. This is where my this is what I love about my here looking these spurs. Yeah. Not bad, not bad at all. Absolutely not. Not at all. Yeah. Ain't gobbled up in there, didn't he? Yeah. You think I shot the beetle? You shot the strutter. Beetle? Yeah. I bet you got a pretty head. A good one. Oh, son. Oh. You believe we just doubled right here? I can't really be honest with you. On a little foggy morning. Foggy bottom boys. Foggy bottom boys. He said yesterday. <laughs> he said yesterday, he said, you going to double. I'm sure enough, we've got two. Going out a little heavier when we came in. That's a shot right shoulder when I pulled that off. No, that ain't. That little five, that's 35 yards. That ain't horrible looking at it. That ain't at horrible. It. I'm shaking awful. The first time we ever doubled in our lives. Doubled. Soak us. Oh, honey, him right there. What to say, man? Here is uh, the end result of a very, very hard two weeks of hunting. You know, I have a took a week off, and just so happened, oh, this is my week off at work. And, we made it happen this, today. We've been work. We've been watching these birds for probably about the first, first middle, middle of March. Yeah, yeah. and uh, they come this field. They was coming this field. At one point, I seen I had seven coming. To, we seen seven coming to There's it. Seven here one morning, and um, we came on youth day and set up down there with a little Aiden. And there was nothing even gobbled remotely close to us. No, and we thought it was over. We we thought these birds had moved off or found another farm or. Something. We 
come in here a couple other times and wouldn't even see him out in the fields. And sort of thought they had moved off from this place. And oh, Patty. Oh, Patty's the old guy I work with. He's exactly right, Patty. I've hunted with him for a couple of years, and uh, he, I'm always, always super t excited to talk to him at work about his turkey hunting. He's already killed a big one this year. And he he lives on this road, and he knows we hunt this farm. And he called me there evening. And he said, "I'm going to go ahead and tell you. He said, you ain't gonna be able to sleep." And uh, <laughs> he said he he stopped, and he said he seen three out here, and then he hit an alcohol, and they gobbled up the hill. So me and Evan Tyler. Yesterday morning we came in here and set up on that end of the field. We didn't know it was this high. It was high on that end. And these birds worked all the way up through here and funneled up in this hill. And then we were kind of, we run around a little bit trying to locate him. And nothing happened. So yesterday, me and Dave, yesterday evening, me and Ed was just hanging out at the house talking about what to do today. and Kicking, herself, on, kicking ourselves for sitting upon yeah, the high Yeah, kind of kicking ourselves, you know, you know, not realizing that that's probably too high and should have come down here and everything. But we, uh, Ev came yesterday evening, and uh, I was getting ready to come with him, and I, he called, I called him, and I said, I'm on my way, and he said, well, don't worry about it, he said, they're already here, and they, I come around the curve over there, and they wasn't strutting, but they was walking toward the hill, and I pulled over there, and when I actually stopped the car, they gobbled at me, stopping the car, and then there was a truck drove by, and they gobbled at that, and that gave me some confidence that they'd at least gobble maybe on the roost, and went over there, and it got about that time, and I hit that old hoot owl call, and they hit it twice over in this hill, and I had a real good feeling we was going to at least see them this morning. Yeah, we slipped back in this morning and changed the setup. And we never like, set up here, and <laughs> <laughs> of course, it's always setting up in the dark. You kind of you don't really know what looks around you and everything like that. I mean, they just kind of found us a little, real thick little hole. Bush, really? Yeah, it's a hole, hole in, really? in a brush pile, pretty much. We dug back in there and set decoys out here about 20 yards. I wanted them real close in this field just in case they did try to skirt either which way, maybe. 40, 50 yards I could fire at them. Yeah. So we got in here and tuck, tucked in. And I just done a few tree yokes and the old boy started to. You even asked me. You, you was getting worried this morning. Yeah, was, it was every pretty, other it bird was, was every, gobbling every, low, so you sure you heard them gobble? About that time, they <laughs> sounded off up the hill. And I said, okay. You know. <laughs> when you asked me at this morning, I knew you was getting worried about I was getting worried. <laughs> then uh, but I, it wasn't too long. I was resp pretty responsive to the call. And, we were sitting here, and said, here comes one pitching in, and it was a hen, and she pitched in, and then all of a sudden, those two turkeys lit right together, right behind her, and that's exactly what these two did yesterday morning, and I knew then what was, I knew then that was probably them two, and sure enough, there was another one flew in with them, and that was still going by, y'all. <laughs> yeah. They started working up this way, and I got real aggressive, and I cut two or three times on a mouth call. These old boys, you can see them, hey, start changing colors, and their demeanor changed, and they started turning, and then, they started to march right on down. <laughs> I knew then that it was that I knew more than likely I was at least gonna get a shot. They got in here to about I don't know, that one. This and I shot was probably 25, 20, 28, 30 yards, something like that. And when I fired the other two, I knew and they didn't move. They just sort of hopped, just floated up and then come back down. Yeah, and I knew and I started purring on a mouth call. I told you I said purr or something. <laughs> <laughs> when I done it, they gobbled. When I gobbled, I knew what was getting ready to happen. I knew oh, it was already going to be squeezing, and sure enough, he's squeezing. <laughs> and that's why we're standing here. <laughs> that's exactly right. <laughs> We've got two to talk about. We, uh, oh man, it was a wild, wild, wild morning. We, uh, first double me and Ev's ever done together. She had his first, first year, his second year, me and Ev's really kind of got to hunt together, just me and him Most a little bit. We're taking people yeah. filming for Which we long. love it. We love taking people that's and me and Ev film. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we love taking everybody and filming everybody, but me and Ev try to go when we can together. And sure enough, good Lord bless us this morning to be able to go. This one will rank high for a while. Isn't it? Oh, this is this is top of the list probably. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> Last year we killed a bird to get it off the ground for the first time, just because we killed a lot of turkeys together, a lot of turkeys. But either with somebody, with or somebody, something. or seeing seeing each other kill one. But last year I killed that big one, and then this year. I believe this one edges it just a little bit. <laughs> it's got to. Uh, me and Ev's going to go up here and sit. We're going to really, really soak this one up. These don't happen very much. So when you kill one, it's best just to sit back for a few minutes and take it in. Man. Take it in because you don't know when that anything like that ever happen again or if it ever will happen again. Me and Ev's been hunting turkeys for 15 years together at least. And the first is the first It's the first ever we've ever had together. Yeah. Ev's double with Ethan. And, but... We're gonna go over here and sit down and 
They were rocking it. They were rocking it over here. Ain't never been this bottom, man. There's one goblin on that end and one behind us back up here. Uh, we and Ed's going to set up here and get rounded up and make a few phone calls and talk to E and a couple other people. Just sit up here and cut up because <laughs> the Lord surely did bless us this morning for sure, but still, I can't believe it hardly. I know. It's wild, ain't it? It is, man. It is.